Okay, you guys, so today, in today's video, it's going to be, these are palettes that I regret that I purchased, and um, the reasons why that I regret, and most of them are just because I don't reach for these palettes, or it's just a color scheme that I'm not super keen on having. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go through it. The first one's probably gonna be a real shocker to everybody, because this seems to be everybody's favorite palette, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I like this palette a lot. I think it's really, really pretty, and the quality is definitely there, but it's not something I ever reach for. Um, this is the inside of it. You have the full-size mirror, and then these are the colors. Whoops, sorry, I've got to figure out where the camera angle is. The colors are beautiful, and it's not that the quality is bad because it's not. It's absolutely phenomenal. It blends well. It stays on the eye for a long period of time, but it just doesn't draw me in like it's not something I'm reaching for because right now I'm really into colors and so this isn't something that I'm super excited to always use or whatnot because like the looks that I get always tend to be the same it's always either a red look or more of a neutral eye with a little bit of a shimmer like one of these but I, I don't know I just it's not super creative for me so it's really hard for me to like try to figure out the best way to use it I guess so it's just not one that I'm reaching for so I kind of wish that it was one that I didn't buy just for that reason and then another one that I got I actually got this one at a discount store cosmetic store and it's the Urban Decay full spectrum palette and this really is not the greatest quality for Urban Decay but look at the colors aren't they beautiful sorry I'm trying to get the light off of it there you go the color scheme is gorgeous. I, I just really like it just to have it at the house. Just like just to have it on my desk because it really is pretty. It's got all the colors in there, but it's, I've never used it. I've swatched it a couple times and the colors just, I'm, it's hard because like the colors are beautiful. It's just nothing I'm reaching for because I don't think that it's as pigmented as some of my other colors. I need to, I need to actually give it more of a shot. But like when I look at it, it's kind of hard because I don't see like any transition shades. This is really a palette that you're going to need to use with other palettes for my personal preference. And I tend to reach for my palettes that already have everything in there. So I have my neutral transition shades and then I have my pops of color. Well, this I don't have that. It's literally just color. And, um, I wouldn't use these three together just for my personal preference, but you know, everybody's different. So for me, it's just one that I wish that I didn't buy. Not that I wish I didn't buy it. I should say, I wish that I, I would have never paid full price for this. I got it for like $20. So I'm happy with that purchase, but I would have never paid for full price for this to have it because I just don't think it's something that I would reach for. Now this one, I'm kind of sad that I even bought this. It's the Earth Palette by NYX. Whoops. I got it because it was actually a sale. And again, it's just not colors that I'm drawn to. Like, I'm not intrigued by any of these colors. I don't like the colors to together. I've used the gold and the red, and they're really pretty on the eyes. I just, they just don't draw me in. It's not a palette that I'm going to reach for because it's so bland to me um, for what I like to wear. But that's just my personal preference. So that's the Earth palette. And then this one, I do not wear blue, but I decided I need to have the NYX Wind Palette. And I literally bought this because I wanted this one color right here. Like, it's so ridiculous. This, these two colors are beautiful, but the rest is just blue. And I'm like, I'm never going to wear that much blue. So I don't even know why I own it. I kind of wish that I wouldn't have purchased it, but, you know, I have it now. So I need to, de I need to use it. I just don't because it's. I'm just not a huge blue fan. And then the other one that I got from NYX is the Air Palette, and it looks like this. Oops. And I do not like pastels, so I have no idea what I was thinking when I purchased this. I think I was thinking, oh, I don't have anything like that. And I don't have anything like it for the simple fact that I don't like it. <laughs> but um, in the moment, I wasn't thinking clearly, and I purchased this. I have swatched it, and that is about it. So I might actually end up selling these ones on Poshmark. I'm not quite sure yet. I got to kind of figure it out. So everybody raved about the Urban Decay, and so I bought the Vault, and then this one was the Urban Decay 1 in the Vault. I do not think these shadows are worth the price. Um, the quality is okay. I think that I have better palettes, and they're it's all neutral. Like, it's all neutral colors, and then you have, like, a deep blue here, and I'm like, it's not pretty. It's not something that makes me want to put this on my eyes or be drawn to it or be like oh I gotta have my Urban Decay palette because there's no color or anything in here it's literally all just neutral 
tans and browns and stuff and I just I'm not a fan of the of the Urban Decay naked palettes and then this is the other one that I regret purchasing is the Lorac Mega Pro 4 for the simple fact that it has all the colors I don't like I don't like pastels and I'm not a huge blue fan and all the other colors are just not vi either vibrant enough or they look dull on the eye in my opinion for my face I mean other people can do it and they make amazing looks with this palette but I just can't seem to get colors that I like together that would be beautiful on the eye and there's just there's not enough here for me to make me reach for this. I mean, I have tried, like you can see some of these colors, I've tried many times to get looks that I like and I just, it, it just doesn't work for me. So this is one I'm really regretting that I purchased. I did get this one when it was on sale and I wish I would have just gone without. And then this one's gonna probably, some people are probably gonna agree with me and other people are probably not going to, not going to agree. It's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is the one that had the redo on the, um, the, packaging so this is the Ulta one and as you can see I haven't really touched it much um, I really love these four colors but that's about it everything else is just kind of blah to me it's kind of like a different undertones of browns or tans a couple shimmers here and there it's just nothing that makes me want to use it I'd rather use my dare to create palette or one of my Too Faced palettes or my BH cosmetics those are the ones that I'm reaching for because they have colors that really intrigue me this is just a lot of the same and I just I wish that I hadn't purchased it is the quality there oh but definitely and if these are colors that you definitely would like it's definitely worth the price it's just for me it's not something I'm reaching for so it's really a waste of money at this point so that's pretty much it so those are the palettes that I don't think that I should have purchased I got my Jaclyn Hill the Lorac Mega Pro 4 Urban Decay Naked and then the three NYX ones earth wind and air i really wanted the fire one but of course it was out uh the modern renaissance and then my urban decay full spectrum those are just palettes that i have in my collection that i just they pretty much are collecting dust because i don't reach for them nor use them so i definitely think i'm going to try to use my urban decay full spectrum palette more um but the other ones probably not i might actually sell them on poshmark i'm not quite sure i gotta figure out how that works but i've heard a lot of people on youtube do that so definitely want to try it out but because i have swatched them or used them i've got to figure out how to sanitize them or how that all works and stuff but yeah that's pretty much all i have and let me know what your palettes are or some that you've purchased that you wish you wouldn't have or um if you agree with me on any of these or disagree if you think some of these palettes are definitely worth it let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys and i hope you have a great day and i will see you in another video thanks so much you guys bye